What's going on guys, we're at 11 a great day today and today we are back with a bit of a different video, a bit more laid back, chilled kind of one where I'm going to go over, I guess my channel plans for 2024, this is a bit of an update video, something a bit more laid back where I basically got um, a notes page in front of me where I've got some stuff listed down and I'm just going to talk through it with you guys, this is going to be uh, pertaining to all of my social media stuff, of course, this is on YouTube, and YouTube will be, I guess, still the biggest thing going into 2024, but there's a few other things that I do want to talk about as well. But before I get into all of that, please do leave a like on this video, also subscribe if you're a fan of anime and Japanese gaming content, and want to see plenty more videos like this in the future, and also review discussion type videos as well. First off, um, Happy New Year, I guess, Happy 2024, hopefully it is going to be another great year, 2023 was a fantastic year for growth on this the channel and speaking of growth i did hit 2000 subscribers about a week ago now i don't really have anything planned i guess for like a celebratory video i guess this channel update is sort of that um i just basically want to say thank you to you guys for you know continuing to support the channel for, uh, through 2023 i hope you guys continue to support the channel of course into 2024 and yeah 2000 subscribers to a lot of people it might not be a lot but to me i don't know just thinking about 2000 people have watched my video uh, i've watched any of my videos and clicked subscribe that's that's pretty awesome even just if 2000 people had watched my videos that would also still be incredible thank you guys for 2000 subscribers thank you guys for staying tuned to the channel all right so i'm going to leave the youtube stuff till last but first of all i want to talk about twitch i did kind of do a soft launch in November of a Twitch channel, which I've done like briefly in the past, but not properly. Now I have all the equipment for it. I've got an Elgato, of course, you guys have probably seen this whole new setup and I've got, you know, new microphone here, got new lights. Basically, it's a Elgato setup now. Like I bought a load of Elgato stuff because it all like nicely links in together. And it's also really good from what I've used of it so far. So I've got uh, an Elgato HD60. I've got this um, Elgato Wave DX, I think it's called, which is the XLR microphone, I've got the Wave XLR, which is like the audio interface, and then the um, key lights, whatever they're called, basically the the big main lights, not the smaller ones, but like the, the main ones, i got like a two pack of them on Black Friday or something. But in terms of Twitch, like I said, I did a soft launch of it in November, and I guess 2024 is going to be kind of where I go all in on it, uh, 2023 was, like I said, a soft launch, kicking things off a little bit, uh, and I did some stuff in November, but for the most part, I don't think I actually streamed it all in December, um, and it probably wasn't the best time to kind of start, because usually around the end of the year, I get busy with work, and obviously doing other videos, and the year videos, all that kind of stuff, so those things ended up taking priority, especially in December, but now I've got more time uh, to be able to go all in on doing Twitch a little bit more, and as of recording this video, about like two hours ago, I did a stream where I begun my playthrough of Crisis Core Reunion, which I've played through before, I did actually do a review of it uh, on the channel but leading up to the release of Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth I'll be playing through that and also Final Fantasy 7 Remake both on PS5 uh, which is where all my streamed games will be because uh, that's what it's linked up to I've now got my PS5 like up in my room PS5 is like to the left of me Mac is to the right of me so all of my stuff is set up right here, so all the streams are going to be PS5. Crisis Core Reunion is what I'm playing through at the moment, hoping to get that uh, through that maybe like middle of January to kind of last third of January or something like that, and then we'll kind of play Final Fantasy VII Remake going into February, and I'm hoping to finish them both by around the middle of February to then do a retrospective video on Final Fantasy VII Remake. Basically what you're going to see on Twitch is an extension really of the kind of stuff I talk about uh, on the channel when it comes to video games. You're going to see you know, me playing through uh, JRPGs, new and old, uh, there's some classic ones that I would definitely love to play through on stream, and then also anime games as well, once again, new and old, we've got Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash coming out in February, definitely going to be playing through that, and you'll see me streaming that game as well, alongside others, I'm probably going to mix things up a bit as well, and kind of throw in some other games that, you know, I wouldn't necessarily talk about on the channel, that aren't necessarily related to the kind of content that I cover, uh, like multiplayer games, party games, just to kind of like, nicely... I guess break things up a little bit so it's not constantly like story-based JRPGs that I'm playing through. Not only like for you guys but also for me personally. I just kind of want to get a nice variety on Twitch. Like Twitch is not going to be the big thing that I'm going for. I, I'm not going to like take over like YouTube or anything like that. YouTube is still going to be like the main source of like 
every like all my content but twitch is just going to be like one of those places for me to kind of relax play through games and talk to you guys as well connect with you guys a little bit more and um, it's just going to be a way of doing that so that is basically the plans for twitch and um, once again pretty much like an extension of the kind of stuff i cover on the channel with a little bit more uh, added into there as well in 2024 i'm hoping it's going to be a bigger year than the end of 2023 was um in terms of twitch now we move on to tiktok which i've been very inconsistent with i've neglected it over the past like four months i actually don't think i've uploaded on there for four months i don't think it's been since like september i think that's the last time i uploaded on there um and i just don't know why i guess i've just not wanted to put focus on other areas aside from youtube that's all i've really been focused on doing but now in 2024 i i, I don't want to say i want to spread myself thin but i want to kind of hit a lot of beats in terms of different social media platforms uh youtube is of course like i said it, it this is like my main source of content this is the bread and butter of i guess the m chat empire you want to call it that but i do need to kind of tap into that tiktok game a bit tap into instagram which we'll talk about in a moment as well and of course twitch like i just said so tapping into more social media um platforms and essentially what tiktok is going to be is the same thing that it has been in the past where i'll just be uploading my youtube shorts on there i'm hoping to maybe do like some i guess snippets teaser videos kind of things for like videos on the channel so you know taking like best bits kind of clips um and just kind of throwing them into a short throwing them onto uh, other social media platforms aside from uh, youtube so i guess tiktok will have some stuff that you won't see on youtube but for the most part it's going to be the youtube shorts just uploaded on there as well they, they never do like super well but you know what I, I made the video doesn't really take that long to upload it elsewhere so why not and now we move on to instagram which once again is going to be essentially the kind of same thing where i will take the youtube shorts and um, as i upload them on tiktok i'll also upload them on instagram as reels because you know it makes sense you, why if you, if you made a video why not upload it on multiple platforms to get the most out of it so that's essentially what that's going to be but um i also would like to kind of use my account as a bit of a news page for anime news and, and maybe a bit of a video game news as well uh, i'm not 100 percent sure how i'm going to do this whether i am going to do it or not my instagram i barely post anything on there in terms of posts so there's really no way of it growing because all the stuff that i post i just post on my story and you can't really grow through posting on a story it makes sense for me to try and post more actual posts on instagram uh, whether that will be uh, news stuff or just anything really uh, i'm going to try and keep it somewhat consistent of course i won't just post like random things but um yeah we'll see how it goes that's an idea with instagram it's not set in stone uh, and that's not something i'm going to like relaunch immediately tiktok i think i'm pretty decided that like as of this video going up really i probably will have relaunched my tiktok that's going to be like an immediate thing but instagram I'm not 100% sure how I'm going to do that, but I just kind of wanted to talk about it here anyway. I do have a Twitter as well where there's not really going to be any changes to that. That kind of just exists for me to go on and look at things and maybe tweet about things, tweet out videos. Generally, my Twitter is going to stay exactly as is. I kind of want to be a bit more active on there in terms of posting stuff aside from just my videos, which is usually what happens. It's not really something that I'm ever going to go all in on trying to grow or anything like that. It kind of just exists. And yeah, you guys want to follow me. It's probably the best place to reach me, actually. Uh, then yeah go follow me uh, link will be in the description below and now we move on to what you guys are probably here for is my youtube content for the most part content is going to continue as it has been um though i do hope to deliver content on a more consistent basis because i've been a little bit inconsistent especially uh towards the end of the year which like i said before that's due to work and just not having time to do this kind of stuff but now i do have more time i can hopefully be a bit more consistent and also timely as well i have gotten really bad at just getting far behind on like too many weekly series or you know, even covering like the netflix anime series the drop uh, like all in one castlevania nocturne i've still not done a video on which i will be bringing you guys that i've still not finished pluto which i need to finish and do a video on um even like tokyo avengers tenshiku arc which i was going to cover in the fall but i didn't uh, i haven't quite finished that yet but i'll bring you guys a review on that and then from the weekly stuff i've not even finished spy family season two yet though I'm, i've only got like a couple of more episodes to watch and review but then jujitsu kaisen season two which i was really really enjoying i just completely fell off covering it um and even watching it as well like 
I've basically watched up to date of when I last talked about it. I, I've watched episodes 16 and 17, which I haven't done a video on just yet, but I was bringing a review of, of those two episodes, but the series has been finished for like um, a week, nearly two weeks, I think now, actually. And yeah, I just completely fell off being consistent and um, I will be catching up on that. You know, this is a promise to you guys that I, I will be covering all those episodes. I might combine some into each other and stuff as well, but yeah, like, I guess my goal really of 2024 is to be a lot more consistent, and a lot more timely. It would be really useful if I could get some series early, but it, that is what it is. I just want to be a bit more, like, timely in terms of, like, how I'm posting the content, getting it out to you guys. Not that I'm necessarily going to be able to cover a series as soon as it drops. I'm not going to be able to watch through most Netflix anime series, in, like, on the same day it drops and then upload the video on the same day it drops, but usually, or at least, like, I guess in more recent times, it's taken me like two weeks to actually get around to eventually watching through and reviewing them, but I want to be able to do it within the week that it drops. That's the plan in 2024, and that's probably the biggest thing that I want to actually do. Something I guess that will be slightly new to the channel going into 2024 is more discussion videos. I did a few of them kind of in the later parts of 2023, and both of them I really enjoyed. I kind of did some news videos, um, talked about some news pertaining to the Seven Deadly Sins Origin, the upcoming Seven Deadly Sins game, and also Jujutsu Kaisen Curse Clash, I did a video kind of combining, uh, combining news there, compiling news there, should I say, uh, but usually my news stuff I keep to shorts because, you know, a lot of news bits that comes out, I can easily cover it within a one minute time span, but if it's big news, for example, when the One Piece remake was announced, uh, I did like a discussion video on that, I really enjoyed making the video, it was also very successful in terms of views and a lot of you guys commented, I, I have a lot of comments on that video. I want to do more of them in 2024 because not only were they pretty successful, but I enjoyed making them as well. I also did that best anime to watch over the Christmas season, which I really enjoyed making that video as well. And I hope to do more of that kind of stuff in 2024 where it's sort of ranking-esque stuff, but it's just generally me discussing a certain topic. Um, I guess it's sort of video essay-esque, but like unscripted, if that makes sense. Um, I, I did really enjoy making both those videos, specifically like the One Piece remake video and then the um, anime to watch over Christmas video. So I hope that in 2024, I can do a lot more of those videos as well. I guess they're just fun and nice to make. Also, it doesn't require like as much research or watching through a series. Sometimes it's just discussing, uh, you know, a piece of news and essentially giving my opinion on it, which, yeah, that's the reason I'm here to give my opinion on stuff. And uh, I, like I said, I like doing those kind of discussion videos, they're fairly easy for me to make, and also, you know, as long as they are, um, I guess, on a topic that is in the in the news, then they can be pretty successful too. Now, one thing I could say for sure about my channel is that it's very sporadic in terms of what I cover. Now, it's all surrounding anime and Japanese video games, but I cover a lot of different ones, but I also do have kind of mainstay franchises on the channel and in 2024 I want to kind of really make use of those outside of just when they're airing so for example like Made in Abyss I remember when that came out season two I said like oh after season two is finished I'm going to continue to do Made in Abyss content on a consistent basis I don't think I've done a Made in Abyss video since season two aside from when season three was announced or when like the Made in Abyss anime continuation was announced I did a video talking about that then but aside from that I've just not talked about Made in Abyss whatsoever um, and it's kind of been the same with like Gundam as well when Witch from Mercury ended I wasn't really saying much about Gundam or Witch from Mercury for that matter I always just stop making videos on certain anime series when they end which I guess like a lot of people do that generally because yeah once the se season's ended there's not a whole lot to talk about but I hope in 2024 to kind of r rectify that make um more content pertaining to these more mainstay franchises on my channel. Things like Demon Slayer, Gundam, Jujutsu Kaisen, Made in Abyss hopefully, Seven Deadly Sins, Tokyo Revengers, all these franchises that I really enjoy uh, covering on the channel and I would say are kind of mainstays um, when it comes to like what I talk about, what I enjoy, uh, and I guess what I want to be known for as well in terms of uh, the discussion. So yeah, in 2024, I plan to do more videos on kind of these mainstay uh, franchises, and I'll give you guys kind of an example. So Gundam, of course, I talked loads about Witch from Mercury when that was airing, and I have talked about Gundam a little bit since then, because we do still have Gundam stuff here and there, like Requiem for Vengeance, of course, is coming out um, sometime this year, I guess. 
but there's loads of Gundam stuff that I have never seen. I've seen the original Mobile Suit Gundam trilogy, I've seen Mobile Suit Gundam Hathaway, and I've seen Witch from Mercury, but that's it. Um, and I guess I've played some Gundam games here and there, but, you know, Iron Blooded Orphans I haven't watched, uh, Gundam Seed I've not watched, Zeta Gundam, um, Double Zeta, all these kind of Gundam series and, and like, films and all this kind of stuff I've never seen before. Yeah, I guess in 2024, I want to kind of dive into some of these franchises where I've talked about them, but haven't fully dived into them. Maybe make some tier list videos, rankings, discussion stuff, maybe read the manga of some of them, all this kind of stuff. There's so many franchises that I've talked about on the channel where there's still so much to potentially be mined from those in terms of videos that I've really not taken advantage of. And like I said, 2024 is going to be the year where I try to. At least this is what I'm saying now. With all of this stuff, it could all get thrown up in the air. Things are constantly changing with YouTube and how much time I have to make things, what things are coming out, what's popular. It's constantly a changing game. So anything that I've talked about here could completely change. I guess aside from the delivering content in a timely manner, that's something that will definitely change going into 2024. But all the other things I've discussed, like I said, I may not go ahead with any of this, it's just me kind of throwing ideas out into the wind. And last but certainly not least before we end off this video, I am finally going to be making my setup slash background slash room how I want it to be, uh, which I have tried to do so many times and said, oh, this is going to be the time when I do it, and I've just not. Um, as you guys have probably seen, my setup has changed now, I'm in a different position. I used to be like over there in the corner, uh, and now I'm not. So... I kind of did this and then haven't really, I kind of just got it set up very basic, like in a way which works and I was able to make videos, but I've not properly set it up. So I'm hoping that like over the next couple of months anyway, I'm going to be able to properly set this entire room up as I want it to be. So it's a space which I enjoy creating in because that's what I'm finding. I'm finding that I'm less motivated because of the, the, the creative space that I have, which a lot of people will say, you know, oh, why does it matter where you're making things and that? I do think that like having a space that you enjoy being in is very, very important for doing anything, whether that's content creation, work, um, anything creative. You kind of need to be inspired by everything around you. That's not to say that you need like, you know, if you're an artist, you don't need, you know, pictures all over to take inspiration from. You just kind of need a space where you can get into a good um, headspace in terms of your creation and somewhere you enjoy spending a lot of time in because creation of any kind it does take a long time and that you know I will sit in this room for a long time most of the time so I, I kind of want a space that I enjoy being in hopefully once that is all set up I'll be in a very good place to be making content and enjoy making content and of course uh, once this room is set up exactly how I want it to be I will bring you guys a room tour. I've never done it before but it's something that I've wanted to do for the longest time and speaking of at all stuff. I will also be doing some more collection videos in 2024, which I've once again neglected for the entirety of 2023, really, and most of 2022. Things like video game collections, uh, anime Blu ray collections, um, figure collections, all that kind of stuff. Like, is, is stuff that I've done before on the channel, but never properly done it, I guess. So, I guess 2024 is where I'm hopefully going to be able to do uh, some of that content. And yeah, I guess that's everything. That's kind of my update going into 2024. Like I said, all this stuff could completely change, but to go over things once again, Twitch, go follow me on there. There'll be a link in the description if you want to watch me play anime video games, JRPGs, various other games as well. TikTok, make sure you follow me on there. Like I said, it's mostly going to be the short stuff that's posted on YouTube, but there'll probably be some other things as well. Same with Instagram and then YouTube, of course, you guys were already here for. And then also last thing, of course, the room setup change and that. But yeah, that's everything coming kind of in 2024 of course there will be some more things along the way and such but yeah uh, i hope you guys did enjoy uh please do leave a like on the video subscribe if you are a fan of anime and japanese gaming content want to see plenty more videos like this in the future and also head on down to the comment section below um what would you like to see from me in 2024 and also what are you excited to do in 2024? Do you have any plans, any New Year's resolutions? Um, that can be related to anything. Maybe it's certain anime series you want to finally sit down and watch. Maybe it's just personal goals in life if you're willing to discuss them on here. I would love to hear from you guys. So like I said, let me know down in the comment section below uh, what you have planned for 2024. And as always, thank you so much for tuning into my chat today. I'll see you guys next time.